Hi everyone, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to my kitchen. I hope everybody's doing fine and everybody's getting used to this new way of life with our freedom and everything. And um, here where I live, things are getting a whole lot better. So things are getting back to normal and we're really, really happy. So today I thought I'd cook for you and what I'm gonna cook for you is salsa verde chicken enchiladas. And it only has very few ingredients you will see and it's very very easy and very very yummy so I'm glad you could be here get your pencil and papers because I'll go slow enough for you to write it down and I'm going to tell you what the ingredients are and how much of it um, but you'll see me mix in a little bit more because the recipe that I'm going to show you makes eight enchiladas but I need 12 so don't pay attention to how much I'm throwing in there because I had to half my recipe again. But <clears throat> I will tell you how much to make that'll make eight enchiladas. So let's get cooking. Okay, you're gonna wanna put your oven on 350 degrees and get it warming. And you're gonna want to go ahead and get you um, your baking pan. And um, you wanna spray it with your cooking spray so it won't stick. I've got a 9 by 13 pan for my um, 12 enchiladas, but um, this recipe calls for making eight. So you might get a little bit smaller pan than a 9 by 13. But anyway, this is what you'll need. You'll need a 16 ounce jar, one 16 ounce jar of salsa verde. I've got the mild. You'll need two cups of shredded pepper jack cheese. Two cups. You'll need three cups of cooked chopped chicken. I got a rotisserie chicken and I deboned it and I cut it up. So you will need three cups of cooked chopped chicken and your last ingredient is flour tortillas you'll need eight medium-sized soft flour tortillas and that's all there is to it so let's throw it together okay what you're going to want to do first is you want to combine your chicken One cup of salsa verde, which is half of your salsa verde. Well, really, it's more like, um, yeah. Yeah, it's half of your salsa verde because one jar is 16 ounces and one cup is 8 ounces. So you want to put half of your salsa verde in there. And then you're going to get your cheese and you're going to want to put one cup of cheese in, in your bowl. And you're going to mix that up. Alright, you're going to take one tortilla, and let me let me just recap. Um, we went ahead and put our oven on 350 degrees. We combined our chicken, which was three cups of chopped chicken, and a one cup of salsa verde, and one cup of your cheese in a bowl. And now we're going to spoon, um, get our tortilla out, and we're going to spoon, put some mixture and my hands are clean mixture down the middle of our tortilla which equals about a third of a cup and then you're going to want to roll your your enchilada up and leave the 
this side right here, leave it down. Okay. And then you're going to get another one and get about a third of a cup of mixture. And put it down the middle of your tortilla. And then you're going to roll it and put it up against the other one. Three more to go. For me, anyway, y'all have eight. I have 12. <clears throat> and I'll have some leftover chicken stuff, which I will put in the freezer. All right, there we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put, let me move some of this. We're gonna get our remaining salsa verde that you have and pour it over it. With my clean hands. And then whatever remaining cheese you have, sprinkle it on top. And if you want more cheese, then put you some more on there. If you want some cheddar cheese. I guess you could use that too. Which I might do because my family likes lots of cheese. Remember, I've always told y'all to make it your own. So, like, I've put my remaining pepper jack cheese on here, but I want a little more cheese, and I've used all my pepper jack cheese up, so I'm adding some cheddar cheese now which when it comes to Mexican food, cheddar is usually a cheese of choice. But for my family, they like lots of cheese. You don't have to use as much as I am because I'm making it my own, just like you will. So what you're gonna do now is you're going to put it in your oven and bake it until it's bubbly. So when I come back, I'll have the finished product and I'll tell you for how long I baked it. And before you ask me, yes, I put it in the oven uncovered. I didn't cover it up, okay? Okay, everybody, they're done. They were in the oven for 30 minutes. And you, as you can see, they're nice and bubbly. So I'm not gonna do a taste test and I will take a picture of them on my plate because they are way too hot to um, try to take a taste test of them. But there you go, your salsa verde chicken enchiladas. Four ingredients, so easy, in the oven for 30 minutes until they're bubbly. All right, so until my next video, happy eating.